Hello guys, my name's Rob, this is Decoded, and today I'm going to show you a really quick method to improve the realism of your renders with hardly any work, via cavity maps. A cavity map is a type of texture map which defines the areas of a model where the dust, dirt and grime has built up over time. Now you can paint these maps yourself, but I much prefer to let Blender do hard work for me whenever possible. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've got this Blender model that I've downloaded from BlendSwap of uh, Butter, and it's a 3D scan of a real object as far as I know. And it looks pretty good, but I would like there to be more dirt built up in areas like this, under the arms, you know, around, around the eyes, things like that. I think outside you'd probably get a lot more dirt built up. So you can see here, it's got a very, very simple set up here it's just got a diffuse and a specular going into the principal shader for now i'm just going to unhook this uh, diffuse layer and what we're going to do is we're going to make this cavity map so if we go down to this panel here the uh, object data panel and we open up vertex colors i'm just going to add a new slot into here and i'm going to call it dirt with a capital d okay and then i'm going to go over to texture paint and I'm going to get rid of that map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to vertex paint mode. Once we're in vertex paint, the options up here will have changed. And if we go to paint, we now have this option here for dirty vertex colors. When we press this, what it's going to do is it's going to calculate all the areas where there's like a cavity. It's kind of similar to an ambient occlusion map, basically and Blender will figure out all the areas where dirt would probably build up in real life. Um, you will have to play with these settings potentially depending on your model. It looks like these settings are working quite well for this model. All I need to do is press dirt only on the tick box and it'll take a second to calculate that and this is what you're looking to see. You want mostly white with just a few areas of like dark black. And that's our map made. Now all we need to do, if we go into our shading panel, and I'm just going to use Shift and D to duplicate this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a dirty texture. Okay, so I've got a noise texture here, and I'm going to put that through a bump node. Plug that into the height. And then let's have a look at this. Um, scale of something like 800 and a strength of like 0.1 let's see what this looks like okay and then we're just going to change the base color and make it like a dark brown okay if you want you can use um like a a noise texture and put that through a color ramp and have a few different dirty colors but i'm just going to do this for for the sake of the tutorial and then we're going to add in another node and it's going to be a mix shader okay so i'm just going to search for mix shader add that in and i'm going to connect this first principal node to the bottom and i'm going to connect this one to the top now for the factor we need this map that we made earlier this dirt map and the way we can get that is just by adding in a node called the attribute node which comes up second if we search for a attribute get factor plug that in and as you can see it hasn't worked properly the reason it hasn't worked is because we haven't set the factor what we need to do is where it says name here we need to type in exactly as it appears over here the name so dirt with a capital d press enter i'll calculate that's now added our map okay you can see it it's not very clear but if you look over these areas that's what it looks like normally, and that's what it looks like with the dirt map. To make this stand out more, what we're gonna do is add in, sorry, we're gonna add in a color ramp node. Okay, and we're just gonna push up this black value until we start to see it appearing. And there now you can see we've got our dirt layer added around the eyes, around the arms, and you can just play with that until you're happy with it. I think something like this is probably gonna look pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is get that material again, 
the diffuse and I'm going to plug that back in and have a look at how this model is looking and that looks pretty good to me if we look at the original it looks like this it's all very clean if we look especially at like around the face it's a good example it looks very clean and if we press Control shift and click on the mix you can see that it now it just has that little extra touch of realism it looks like an object that's been sitting outside for a long time same as like all these areas around here so if you use this in any of your work guys as a normal please either drop it to me on the Facebook group or in the comments below leave me a link to your work I'd love to see it if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and if you found this tip useful hit like please and I'll see you around for the next video guys